Good morning and welcome back YouTube and God bless all who have found this video. I hope the Lord is blessing you and your loved ones. I hope he's keeping you all healthy and happy in these contentious times. I was going to do these in shorts, but I figured I will just do them in a full length video. This is concerning Christ in the church. The disciples came to Jesus and they asked him, why do you speak to them in parables? He answered them and he said, to you it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been granted. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because while seeing they do not see, and while hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. This mystery is great, but I am speaking with reference to Christ and the church. Of this church I was made a minister according to the stewardship from God bestowed on me for your benefit. That is, the mystery which has been hidden from past ages and generations, but has now been manifest to his saints, to whom God willed to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves, but you, just as Paul also said, in these things which now have been announced to you through those who preach the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is judged by you, are you not competent to constitute the smallest law courts? Do you not know that we shall judge angels, how much more matters of this life? We speak wisdom among those who are mature, a wisdom, however, not of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are passing away. But we speak God's wisdom in a mystery, the hidden wisdom, which God predestined before the ages to our glory, the wisdom which none of the rulers of this age has understood, for if they had understood it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. To me, the very least of all saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unfathomable riches of Christ, and to bring to light what is the administration of the mystery, which for ages has been hidden in God, who created all things, in order that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose which he carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him. And by referring to this, when you read, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which in other generations was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets in the Spirit. He made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his kind intention which he preposed in him, with a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of the times, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens and things upon the earth, in him also we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to his purpose, who works all things after the counsel of his will, to the end that we who were the first to hope in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the anxious longing of the creation awaits eagerly for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility not of its own will, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself also will be set free from its slavery to corruption into the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. And not only this, but also we ourselves having the first fruits of the Spirit, 
Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. And the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, heirs also, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who indwells you. And however, you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. But if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. He who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. 